I know y'all been waiting on that since I got the car. Like, when you gonna drive the car? When you gonna drive the car? The wait is over now. We get to drive the car now. Shout out to Matt at Allstate Transmission. That thing, pressure. Damn, P. Glow, you did that? What's up, you guys, man? It's your boy Real to Real Man back in here with another video. Hey, man, say man, hey, man, it's your boy, man. Real to Real, you already know what it is. Do you feel me? What the heck? Oh, that ain't nothing. All right, man, so you guys, man, if y'all hadn't gotten y'all tickets for the colors, make sure y'all get y'all tickets today. You know what I'm saying? That thing got one more day, and we're going to go down here and check on it. Um, in a little while, I got to head to the post office then. I got to head somewhere else before then. I'm going to see. I'm going to see where I got to head to. You know what I'm saying before then, but uh, man, y'all know your boy just been trying to stay moving and grooving, man, and trying to stay, you know what I'm saying, like fresh, like, like, had a content real fresh, you feel me? So, I'm not trying to just sit down in one spot or just get caught up in a box, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get y'all different content and stuff, so you know, and that's the reason why I went to the floaters, you know what I'm saying? You never know down the line, I might do bigger floaters on something else you know what i'm saying just to man just all oh, honestly bro i just want to give you guys different shit you know what i'm saying yeah anybody can go get some damn 4g auto some other wheel companies roaches whatever uh savinis and shanti like anybody can go do that you know what i'm saying but like I say, man, I, I can bring the culture back on the dub floaters, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate everybody that shows support, like everybody loving the floaters, you know, on the car. Like I was telling y'all yesterday, man, I could have went sixes if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Because we had to re-drill these anyway. And a lot of people think because I got them re-drilled that they was used root wheels. No, these wheels was brand new out the box. You know what I'm saying? We took them out the box. Because you get a wheel re-drilled, that just means that they sent the wheel in the wrong bolt pattern. And you getting them redrilled to your car so you won't have to put adapters on. But yes, I could have did that to any of them wheels in there. I could have went 26s on here. But y'all have to understand, the way I do my business, I do it a little bit different. I don't want to get put 26s on this car and then have to cut for the 26s to fit on here and have to modify the suspension. Because the dealerships is not or whoever you sell it to is not gonna wanna put factory wheels back on the car. So you take that factory look away from the car when you put 26s on it. If you gotta cut or modify, that can never go back. You know what I'm saying? Unless you buy a new fender or you buy, um, yeah, unless you buy a new fender. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And some people cut your back bumper. I don't know why they do that, but it's just, it's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? Or they cut your back quarter a little bit. But yeah, at the end of the day, I wanted to do 24s because 24s is more lenient on what I'm trying to do because when I put some speakers in the trunk, it ain't gonna do nothing but sit the car down, so it's gonna make the wheels look bigger. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I like thinking ahead and planning ahead, so you know I won't be screwed later. Because if I would have put 26s, then I gotta then I gotta worry about bopping down, tearing up something. If I put some speakers in this car, cause I'm putting speakers in here. Y'all know me, I'm an audio guy, I'm an audio head. I can't build no cars without audio. You know what I'm saying? When it's for myself, personally. I know there's gonna be a giveaway, but this is my personal car right now. You know what I'm saying? 
and I'm not getting rid of it until like five, six months from now. So y'all got to understand that I'm just out here just trying to do something uh, with my life and just trying to elevate myself. And man, I'm just trying to keep going, man. Keep bringing y'all that content, man. Floaters ain't never died off. People just stop riding them because people listening to all these goop balls thinking the wave is only like standstill wheels. And it's not. I like all type of wheels, just to be honest. But I always like floaters better than anything. It's just, yeah, I had to go with the standstill wheel route because that was that was a more popular route. But now I'm just going back to my roots. I'm going back to my culture. I'm going back to what got me here in this day and age and the reason why I started liking cars in the first place. I'm not doing nothing, no more car bills for the hype of people. You know what I'm saying? Just like my don't. I can go crazy and go buy LT4s and all this bullshit for my car just to say I did it. Brand new motors. Man, fuck all that shit. Like I'm going with that LS2. You know what I'm saying? Then I might throw that LSA supercharge on it down the line. Or I might put that Pro Charge on y'all ass. You feel me? So, like, Pro Charge is already trying to sponsor me on one. So I might just go with the Pro Charger just because... You know, it'd be good to work with that company. So, like I said, you know, I'm taking my stuff in steps. If I want to pro charge, I'm going to do that later, and that's going to be more content. If I do all that shit right now, that ain't giving y'all enough content. That ain't me going out, driving it, being in my stuff, having a good time. Yeah, I got to place my order for my rear end and all that quick performance. I was going to do that anyway um, through them. And then, you know, at the same time, I still was going to... Um, I still got to get um, my big wheel kit. You know what I'm saying? So, well, my big wheel, um, yeah, my front end suspension big wheel kit. And it's, I think it comes from the back, too. Uh, the uppers and lowers in the back, the um, trailing on. The QA1 stuff, man. Y'all know. You know, we going, we going crazy with it, man. We, we going crazy with it. And plus, I might have to get that stuff powder coated, man, to match the car. Because, you know, create one stuff come either black or red. You know what I'm saying? So, it just, you know, some stuff just look good to match your car. You know, I can do a full bottom, you know. But, I'm going to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody, impress nobody. Man, I'm doing this for myself. If, if people say this is a cheap route, well, then hell. It is what it is. I ain't got to build my shit from the ground up. Because I pay, I pay more money than most people will pay for their don'ts. Because most people want to buy a rust bucket and put it back together. No, I ain't doing all that. You know, I spent the money on the top end, so I won't have to do all that extra dumb shit. I ain't putting no 150 and no don'ts and 100 and no don'ts and all that extra bullshit. Now, later on in line when shit just get the building, I'm doing my stuff piece by piece. So I'm gonna always have content. I'm going to be riding while people stuff still in the shop for two, three years. Trying to impress another guy that ain't doing nothing for them and trying to hype up the internet. And by the time you hype up that internet, you're going to want to switch your stuff up because your stuff going to be the one out of style. What you even said, you're going to have to change your whole painting and all this type stuff just because you done waited so long on your stuff, your idea is not going to be a good idea no more. It's just, it happens. It's going to be new stuff that came out by the time these folks get done with their cars. But, like I said, man, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel right now. You know what I'm saying? For this this new, new content that's coming. And um, y'all already know, man, I'm going up like crazy this year, man. A lot of big things coming a lot of big news coming. If I don't get to reveal the big news this weekend, I'm going to reveal it next weekend. You feel me? So, um, yeah. So, i catch you guys, man. Once I cut back on the camera, I get to a destination. But I got to go handle some business at the post office real quick. Do some change of address stuff and all that type stuff. And then I'll catch y'all in a minute. Peace. All right, y'all, man. Y'all already know where I'm at, man. Checking on that cut dog, man. Giveaway is coming to an end really, really fast. So I had to do the dash and come up here real fast. And them things still spinning. Car stop will keep spinning. Woo. 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 
Boy, y'all better stop the kids naive. <laughs> this joint spinning, spinning. Oh, car stop wheels keep spinning. Yeah, Sersky. Ooh, that thing nasty. I ain't gonna cap to you. Ooh. Is Matt here? Oh, uh, yeah, he probably still tacking up some stuff. Yeah, look at him over there. Oh, boy, boy. He said, oh, boy. Don't say that, man. I get nervous when you say something like that. Nah, that's all good. Nah. Oh, nah. You, you know, I, I, I told my boy he ain't got nothing to worry about. We ain't going to stress him out, but y'all got them things on. Uh -oh. He got them things on now. Got that thing all nice and done up in there. I see it. Got it all painted up in there. <laughs> huh? How I keep them white? Just don't wear them. <laughs> hey, that's the only thing I can say. Yeah, I wear them probably. Yeah, I wear them probably once every two, three weeks or something like that. I just have to keep on trying to clean them off once I get to the house. But ain't no way to keep them clean. I can tell you that now. Not with what I do. Definitely not with what I do. Got them things on now. Got them new lug nuts on there too. Y'all see? Yes, sir. Y'all see what's going on. Got them real deal lug nuts on there now. Got the frame nice, all done. In the rear, front, yes, yeah, sir. Y'all see it? He's still working on that other side. Yeah, all state transmission, man. Y'all see my motor right there going in, but don't don't got to rebuild that thing. Yes, yeah, sir. Ski. <laughs> You, you must took it down the street and it still didn't, huh? Uh, that one side, ain't it? One side. That side. Okay. Yeah, that's why I said, man, I, I ain't gonna stress out on this one. I'm gonna just extend it. <laughs> yeah. When it come down to the wire like that, they just tell you, no, nah, don't rush it. You better than first time. Exactly. So Y'all get it right here from, from my mouth right now. I'm just going to extend it to next weekend, man. That's so, you know, I can do everything that I want to do to it, too, so... Down and dirty. Man, don't be running when you see the camera, man. You ain't you ain't that scared now. <laughs> you just on TV, it's all good. You just on some other TV screen. That's all. Telephone. It ain't gonna hurt you. Yeah, everything. <laughs> what, what, whatever they can see YouTube on, that's what you on. What well, he don't realize is that America's most wanted go everywhere. Yeah, exactly. So he don't want to get caught. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, it, it's all good because then you gonna have Matt in trouble because he up here housing you. <laughs> that's how they gonna look at that. <laughs> oh. <my laughs> If you America most wanted, I wouldn't be around you right now. <laughs> I don't need to be in no more trouble than what I am right now. Dallas most wanted. Nothing most wanted. <laughs> For real. 
Yeah, but no, I ain't want nothing, man. I was just stopping by. I was like, well, I didn't hear from you, so I, I'm pretty sure when I don't hear from Matt, <laughs> hey, we yeah, we working, so, ahead, yeah. Run that well down out there, will you? On that inside right there, yeah. try to clean that cool off. Clean that up, and I'll run one final pass over it. And that'll be that. That'll be that. That'll be that. Smooth sailing from here. Mm -hmm. So now that now you know, if a G body come in, you know which side gonna give well, you the problem. I'll, I'll, next time, what I'll do is I'll start on the passenger side. I'll yeah. The passenger side fit, and if this side turns out to always be tighter, mm -hmm. then I'll always be good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, if somebody come in for 2060, yeah, yeah, it's a different than the 24. I've been getting some calls, man. I had a, I think I had a guy come today mm -hmm. that bought a G body from the same guy you bought this car from. I guess he had another G body he sold. Today he sold the Monte Carlo. Yes, yes. Oh I guy, crap! I had a guy come in today and he's like, man, you know, I bought. Yeah, he had a uh, Monte Carlo. He was in the bill. And he said the, the, the frame is messed up worse on that one than this one. Oh, crap. I had to see it because this one was pretty bad. Let me, let me, let me back up. <laughs> he cleaning them wheels up. Oh, but no, man, it just turned out really, really nice. Yeah, it definitely did. I was just looking. Uh, Was you still there. able to trim this little part in here? It, oh, you don't think it's needed? Uh, okay. Yeah. Like you would have to get a huge, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's not really that. It's like when you going in and out of stuff like your yeah, driveway you do, when it the, shifts. The axle goes like this. Uh huh. So the tire goes in at the top. You know what I'm saying? When the axle uh -huh. pivots like this. Oh, it goes like that. Right. So it don't go straight up. Right. Oh, okay, okay. We got this. I also had a couple of studs that wouldn't hold when we went to both the wheels on. For real? New studs in it, yeah. Oh, so you got new studs in it? Mm -hmm. The ones that broke, the changed. Oh, okay, the ones that broke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. So everything He's added to it. You uh, know I got you. I just want it all straight because it's a liability on me if it leaves and something happens. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't need no lugs breaking. Oh, man, that look real good. Everything is painted, everything massaged in. Golly. And everything all painted. That looked like it came like that, the way you did that. Yeah. And I haven't done this last piece over here, but like on mm -hmm. this side, I did all down the rocker. I got a little more touch up to do. Okay. All down the rocks, and then I got to do that last piece down right there. Okay. But yeah, man, it turned out. It turned out real good. Really good. Definitely turned out good. Yeah, it kind of cleans everything up. Mm -hmm. It makes it look better, yeah, too, yeah, yeah, to yeah. me. Well, we got, we got painted in the front. We got painted in the Man, it look like back. you painted the drum. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, rusty drum. Man, I know, right? <laughs> but anyway, you can see in the back. Mm hmm. A lot of clearance. Yeah. Definitely got a lot of clearance. So this should be good. There's one little bit of place in the tub on this mm -hmm. side. I massage it in a little bit more. When I drive it, we'll know for sure. Uh huh. But I think it's gonna be alright. Okay. Okay. And that's the thing about this stuff, man. You know, there ain't no just one way. You know? Yeah. You do it. You test, you test it. it. If it ain't enough, you do it a little do more. Do it a little, little more. Yep. But uh. And a lot of the times, you know, a lot of people don't go with 26s on these type of cars. They go with yeah, 24s mostly. You know, um, Monte Carlos, they do more 26s than the Cutlass do. Right, right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm real happy with it. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a lot of clearance in there on this side. So, clean. You know, if you get all that liner back, mm -hmm. there's one little piece right here that's kind of not wanting to go back no further. But I oh, it's all good. You know, when you when you drive these cars back in the day, we used to just let it hit whatever while it's turning and rub yeah, it down to where it won't hit it no more. It won't rub I've no more. The whole front tub, oh, you know. yeah, got that tub looking smack brand new. Frame <laughs> in the front, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that. 
control arm. Oh yeah, you went over and beyond. Yeah, lower control arm. This was clean. Painted everything. Yeah. And I'll, I'll do the last little piece of this. It's okay. Just, it would have some dirt on it. When I seen the dirt, I stopped. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, we're happy with it. I'm happy with it. Definitely that. Yeah, yeah I made that decision. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for a week, man. I gotta drive this thing. I gotta drive it. The fitment looks you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They ain't posting, they ain't wasting. Yep. It's, it's, it's up on. in there, yeah. It's spot on. And for some reason, this side is always pushed in more than the other side for yeah, some reason. Yeah, these cars are square. Yeah. That's like when we do the aftermarket control on, mm -hmm. we always just try to square, square them off as up. best as you can. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, cause these so okay. in, because this one, wouldn't t it wouldn't rub at all, probably. Yeah, I don't think either one of them would rub. Yeah. I don't think the back is our issue at all. And when it was at full lock, uh huh. Even though with the big notch on the inside of the frame, the rim was just barely touching it. Uh -huh. So what I did is you've got what's called steering stops mm -hmm. on the spindle, mm -hmm. and I I just put a small weld on there, like maybe an eighth of an inch, mm -hmm. just so if you you know like wrench down on it. Oh hard, yeah. Then it's still. I know what up. you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you yeah I know you you go you one way and then it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I, 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 I extended the steering stops on both sides. So you could hard oh, lock dang. it, you know what I'm That's saying? That's dope. And, and nothing ties up, nothing cracking. Uh-huh. That's dope. Oh, yeah. Man, putting in that work work now. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, you should have been done yesterday, but... Man, you can't put a time on some problem. some stuff, yeah. Cause like I said, you got a whole business you running too. You can't just be on stuck on one thing all day either. Yeah, it's just you know, we have those weeks where it's, nothing goes away. You, you yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a little red dually over here, headers and a bunch of stuff, and okay, you get nothing loose. You know, every bolt, <laughs> uh, you know, it probably was breaking on you. Yeah, I broke a bunch of studs on my manifolds. And yeah, the ECR tube wouldn't come off. We had to cut and get another ECR tube. And, you know, just yeah, kind of those little times. I already things, know it. You know, that's some little things that used to make me because I used to think I can do it at home. Yeah. And I was breaking stuff and be like, dang, now I got to tap in my motor or I got to get somebody to weld something on here and try to take it out the block. Man, it's just certain stuff I just don't tackle no more. That's why I say, you know, most of the time, if I'm not buying it new and putting it on, I'm not taking nothing off. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing about working on old cars, right? Like, mm -hmm. new cars is a lot more cut and dry. Mm -hmm. Because you're just doing this, you're doing that, you know? And yep. these older cars... You know, cars have been flexed and some yeah. of them have been wrecked and some of them have been pre-modified. Like, you know, you just don't mm -hmm. know what you're going to get into, man. That's why, you know, all this type of work, we, we have to, as a shop, we have to do it by the house. Mm -hmm. And some people get that and some people don't. Yeah. You know? Like, it's not that we don't want to give you a price or it's mm -hmm. not that we're trying to, like, have an open checkbook. Exactly. But, like, you don't know what you're going to, you know, it's like you don't know what you're going to expect. Yep. So, you know, okay, do yep. I send it out and... With two lug nuts missing? Hell, oh, huh? no. You know, you know what I mean? I was going to tell you, go on, run it. Stop, and we <laughs> over a couple of studs, and we put a couple, you know, it's just all that little stuff, man. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you've done that because that'd be the main things about these older cars with them studs breaking. Yeah. Big wheels. Man. You know, like, you know, getting the lug nuts that you got that they go inside the wheel to mm -hmm. grab that extra thread. It's like, all of that matters. All right? that matter, yep. If not, you're going inside the road looking crazy. You know? so <laughs> it, all, it all matters at the end. Mm hmm. Know? So. Yeah, well, y'all see it, man. He got this thing going. I'm finna uh, get up out of his hair. I got a lot more stuff I'm trying to achieve today. And, man, time just ain't been on my side. You're running out of daylight, man. Man, I know it, right? right. I had to go by the uh, post office and change addresses and all this. Other. I'm just trying to do some of this groundwork so I ain't got to do nothing tomorrow and this weekend and stuff, man. I hate having to cut my days short trying to handle the business and not getting my videos in. Yeah, I make the best all yeah, good, you know? yeah. But like I said, we're wrapping this one up. Um, so we can just wrap it in the morning. Okay. We're putting some miles on it. Just, you know, we've already got the oil change and all that stuff done. I got to fix that little wire and then get that put on. Okay. So we'll just do a little touch up thing. Okay. So you want me to come tomorrow or? No, it's going to be ready tomorrow. Okay, okay. What time? What time? Okay. Morning, we'll just be kind of putting the finish 
Touches on it, making sure we got no issues. Okay. You know, me, my yeah, I know. Really I, I try to probably come around about one or two. Only thing I say one or two. So even if it takes longer than that, I can already be here yeah. because that traffic get bad, man. If I don't get in that traffic before two o'clock, it's I, over with for I me. I would imagine unless you just run across something that ain't on my radar, yeah. that by lunch should be done. You know okay. So okay. That really, that really ain't no thing. Okay. No thing at all. All right, well. I'm floating around the city. Yeah, I'm floating around the city. Hey, I, I got a lot of um, reviews. I was like, I didn't know if they were going to like it, taking the toll to it. But actually, a lot of people liked it. And it's just, you know, back in the day, that was common. Mm -hmm. Like, if you was really balling back in the day, mm -hmm. that's what you had, you know? Yeah. A lot of people don't know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. Like, that was a whole thing, man. You know, when, what was that magazine, Box and Bubble, came mm -hmm. out, you know, and... Donk used to be anything on big wheels, and most exactly. of it was floaters and stuff. Uh huh. You know? Back then, definitely that. But uh, I, because I was looking at the uh, message, I mean the the comments, and some people was like, "Oh well, you know, it remind me of the old days, but I still like it." You know, yeah. and a lot of people was like, "These the wheels you should have been putting on, like yeah. doing something different now." I think you know. I don't know. If you look at my comments, they all positive, though. Oh, no, thank you. All right. The guy's working. Yeah, he, he's sending me the car. Ma'am, ma'am, please help me. He's working. No, thank you. Not today. Oh, thank yes. you. Uh -huh. Bye. Have a nice day. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I think if you're, I think it depends on how old you are, man. Yeah. I think you really got to be maybe 30, 35 plus. I, I think really more young people. Scene. I think more young people like more factory look. Well, I think it's just what you're used to growing uh -huh. up, now, right? You know, like I remember when step lift rims were the thing. Yeah. Like everything was step yeah. lift. Everything was multi piece and step lift. Mm -hmm. Really, like you know, back 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 in the day, the Ekes, the HREs, mm -hmm. like that was the the premium. The one, stuff. but yeah. And then billet wheels hit. You know, and this mm -hmm. is back when. I mean, I'm feeling old now. But, uh, I and remember, them legs on these. I remember, I remember when 17 was the, the baddest thing on the block. Oh, uh, yeah. You had 17. My dad block. had 17s, and this was like back in 90 something. Yeah. And when he come through, everybody thought he had some real big wheels on his car. And I they was were. like, yeah, for back then. Yeah, and then he switched them out and went 20s. And we just thought them was some huge wheels. I'll, I'll never forget, no lie, the, the first time I saw a 20 inch wheel, I had a customer that had a 66 Buick Riviera. Mm -hmm. And he showed up on shop on 20 inch wires, Davis, mm -hmm. 20s. And man, I just, like, couldn't believe it. Say? Yeah. Like, that's the biggest thing, thing I ever yep. saw. Yep, and them yeah. tires was expensive, expensive back then. Expensive. I remember when 30s came out, we had a customer and we did one of the first set 30s in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't buy a tire. Mm -hmm. He ended up, the truck got in him in some, some gunfire situation. For real. And one went through the sidewall of the tire and through the wheel. Uh, and MHT, Dub, they wouldn't sell. They wouldn't sell that 30 inch tire. You had to buy a wheel and a tire. And a wheel, yeah. So yeah, a wheel one. and tire package, yeah, I think. Yeah, the one that got the bullet, put it for the spare on the fifth on the back, mm -hmm. and then bought another brand new 30 for the truck. For a wheel and tire. Right. And That's you know, crazy. The, the prices back then. Were really crazy. Mm -hmm. you know, I think 30s back then were like 20 some thousand. 25,000? Yeah. Thousand, yeah, they like was 20 some thousand back then. But, they know, went down a whole lot now. Yeah, but you know, then there's free well, mm -hmm. then the dove, then the clothes. Them, like the free well version of them, was expensive as hell. Like you had to be a football, basketball player to have some of them back then. Yeah, I think that's when people started realizing that the, the money, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's. Levels, yeah, because my first colors I built it was a 88 uh, 87. My first set of, of rims for it was 22 spinners, and you know, it came with the plate and everything. I just didn't never put mine on, right? Because it was missing, yeah, no, nah, it was missing like one of the screws. And I'm not one of them type people if I can't put them all four of them on, I don't ride none of them. But I had 22 spinners that this was like 06 07 when I had them on my colors. I had a set of spines. I had a Cadillac DTS mm -hmm. back in the day, and it had 20 inch spines. Mm -hmm. And that's the spines were something serious. You know, yeah. Back in the day, you know, nobody, 
Yeah, like I said, the styles change. Yeah. You like bell-bottom pants. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I wear. Every, every that's what they around. really call them. They call them stacks now, right. but they was actually bell-bottoms back in the day. And what comes around goes around. Yeah, you know, everything it? coming back in the loop. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sure. Just like jogging pants and stuff coming back out. Yeah, well, like champion. Yeah. Well, when I was a kid, if you had some champion on... You was like a risk. <laughs> they taking your stuff. Yeah, bro, like, that was some real hard times. Yeah. If you showed up, because the only place you bought champion was Kmart. Right? Yep. You know, some ch cheaper type store. Mm -hmm. And it was almost like a scarlet letter, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You show up with some champion on, they know you shopping at Kmart. Yeah. You buy special, kids make fun of you, you know. Now, you see champion and like, and, and, and the people wearing brand. it, yep. I don't get over that. Like, I'm like, oh, man. I still can't get towards the shoes and stuff like that. Like, I had little champion hoodies and stuff here and there. Yeah. Uh, because they're, like, more thicker than the other hoodies that people sell. Okay. Yeah, so that's why a lot of people get them hoodies, too. Right. Yeah, they real thick and warm, so. Yeah. But it, it's just funny how life just revolves and cycle, recycle like that, you know? So, yeah, man. Well, well see, I'm going to go here and wrap this thing up, man. All right. And we'll holler at you tomorrow. Bye. All right, now. All right, brother. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So, let me, what you call? Ooh, okay. The next day. All right, y'all, man. It's another day. And today is the big day. So, y'all already know, man. I'm kind of excited. Hope y'all excited, man. We finally get the cutlass back. You know what I'm saying? Finally get to take it back home. And actually just um, focus on other things now. Because sometimes you be so focused on something else. And then you lose focus on other stuff that you be trying to do. So, y'all know me. I be always grinding. Always trying to get to the next level. And, you know, it's really time for me to focus on um, I don't now. So, you know, that's my main priority. That and the, the Charger Scat Pack, too. So, uh, if y'all haven't got y'all tickets, make sure y'all get got y'all tickets. If y'all don't know, if y'all skip through the video or whatever, we did extend the giveaway until February 9th. So, that would be Friday night when it ends. So, Friday night at like 11 o'clock that night so i would do the giveaway actually saturday or saturday morning something like that just to get it out the way early because um i never i never done one in the morning time so well not in the morning it won't be in the morning at all but i never done one early so i just thought maybe to do one on a friday this time because i usually do my giveaways on a sunday well on a monday i usually end it on a sunday and uh do it on a monday so we're gonna end it on a friday and do it that saturday you know so um yeah and it just give me uh a little time with the car and everything to make sure everything is good make sure everything running and driving so y'all already know man you getting that first drive video today and i'm definitely excited about getting the car back i hate i gotta get it back on a rainy day didn't know it was supposed to rain this week at all. So this just came out the blue, out of nowhere. So we got to deal with that. So hopefully we do good in this rain. So I think it only supposed to rain at three. So it only supposed to be like one hour of rain. And then it's supposed to start back at five or six or something like that. But hopefully I'll be back home by then. So, um, but hopefully, hopefully. You know, but I don't know how hard it's been to rain. Being in the old school in the rain is not that fun. You know, it ain't no newer car, so I just don't like driving old schools in rain. But uh, we headed to Matt at Allstate Transmission. He wrapped everything up, got the steering wheel put on, got all the fluids, oil changed, everything on it. So it's damn sure ready to go. He already test drove, drove it and like everything is, is good yeah so hope y'all excited just like i am and i'm gonna catch y'all once i get done peace y'all it's starting to rain on us right now and he got that thing outside oh man that thing looking so good dang it will start raining right now as soon as i get over here ain't that something Whew. Look at that thing, man. Got that frame nice all done. Got them washed up and everything, man. And now we got to go in the rain with it all washed up, man. I should have kept it over here and came and got it tomorrow. On a Saturday. 
Man, got that steering wheel off in there. Ooh, made it look 10 times better. I wish I could have wrapped it in white, I mean in gray. Ooh, come on, man. Let's see what's going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Ski. Back on the road, you feel me? Ooh. Yeah, but y'all see what's going on. And I forgot to bring the title and everything. Man, I ain't got no plates on this car, no nothing. I ain't got nothing on here. Everybody voted that they wanted the car like this, as is, too. They wanted to ride it like this, and they'll get it painted themselves. So I had way more people vote on that than anything. So, like I said, you know, I wish I had time where I could have painted it and did my scheme that I was gonna do, but I ain't gonna lie. Somebody finna have a blast with it just the way it is right now. And then they can paint it down the line, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, this joint looking crazy. Jeez, let me step back, man. Let me step back. Man, that joint look crazy, bro. Man, this one for the books right here. This one for the books, man. Man, I picked out the right sixes forges, too. The right one. I ain't gonna cap to you. Got that Euro front clip, got that wing on the back. And that colorless salon, man. For everybody out there, man, it's a colorless salon. Colorless salon, man, not a Supreme, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? No cracks in the dash, no nothing, bro. Look at that dash, man. I'm talking about immaculate. Everything is immaculate in there. If y'all don't get y'all tickets for this joint, ooh, and it come with some quarters. Why y'all playing? Look at that. Man, look at that interior, bro. Look at that interior, bro. Come on, man. Stop playing. This is going crazy. Definitely crazy. Woo. So, yeah. So, next week, um, we starting on the Don't Bill. Uh, he actually gonna start the breaking down the motor process. Oh, there you go. Man, I thought you left. Oh, hey, hold on. Let me tell my wife she can come. Oh, oh, for real? Let me tell my wife she... Well, let me let my... I'm finna bring my wife in to meet you. Okay. In the Benzo Lorenzo, you feel me? I was gonna bring you in to meet Matt and then uh, you can head on back. Yeah, Sersky, y'all see where we at? You know what I'm saying? All state transmission right here on Buckner. Y'all see it? 2522 Buckner Road, you feel me? I don't care, Center Man. They care about you, feel me? Man. Man, they had the rain on us today. That car looking so pretty over there right now. I was coming to work this morning. I was like, I had the detail guy set up for three cars. Mm -hmm. like, really, all days. We had two really nice days, weather pretty. And now it's Friday and everybody's coming to get the car. Man. I said, dang, man, I should have picked this joint up tomorrow. I said, nope, man, I ain't open on Saturdays. Yeah. Only when he want to. But this is my wife, Brittany. That's Matt. Matt, that's Brittany. Nice to meet you, finally. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so what do you think? It looked pretty good. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that steering wheel set it off. Yeah, yeah, it looks real nice. Man, it looked real nice. I hate I couldn't have this one for a little bit longer. But, I mean, I'm going to have it for a week now so I can get some content out of it now. Right. You know? But, man... It looks so good, bro. Yep, she all cleaned up. Look at the cat. You trying to take it home? 
you talking about, man? Dog, yeah, you know, oh, like, yeah. come on now. You trying to take the car home? You like, yep. <laughs> but yeah, man, this joint, he actually did his thing on Washington, too. Yeah, yeah. He did it on the hood. He went ahead and just touched. He, I, gave him, I gave him quite a bit of work. So he walked down the inside, touched up underneath the hood and everything. I didn't know if the under the hood was dirty because, you know, it was kind of spick and span a little bit. I mean, it wasn't like a dirty car. But yeah. They grind and dust goes everywhere. Oh, that's what you so, was talking about. Okay, okay. That stuff is like, you know, it's like powder in the air, so uh -huh. it covers everything. So he just, he just wiped it down, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. He cleaned it up, wiped it down, changed the oil, checked all the fluids on everything. Uh, just the idle, you know, all the stuff we talked about. Mm-hmm. So, Look, definitely look good up under here. I told y'all, man, this is how you want to buy an old school car. Yeah, it's a really, really clean car. Man. Really clean car. I just wanted to start because, you know, I, I originally bought this one because my black one was so torn apart. Right. I was like, man, I want something that I can just get in and ride now. Yeah. And so that's the reason why I had got this one. But now... You know, I had got that don't you know, still a, change of plans. It's a, it's a pretty unmolested car, you know. The interior's all there. And yep. Like, you know. Yeah, it's pretty unmolested other than, you know, the cuts and stuff. Yeah. You know. But anytime down the line, see, what I tell, a pe tell people a lot of times, on cars like this, when you got people that just cut stuff on a fender and stuff like that, you can always either go back with metal or you can just change the fender out and it can be right back original yeah, real you can quick. Go back with like some more fender trim you know mm -hmm. saying, and modify it to where it looks to where it looks original. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. You know, bend and modify, mm -hmm. and like what I do back. to my box Chevy. Yeah, yep. same thing. Yep. Yeah. Where well, you don't even have to do the cutting. We had a couple of customers up here with some of those 70 cutlasses yesterday. And on the one that was on the bigger wheels, they had done that to his. Mm -hmm. Cut the fender and then moved the trim back. You know, yep. real simple, real clean, you know. But it's like these cars, you can't get away from that because every colors I ever own, they have to cut them in the front. Yeah, G bodies are, are just, they don't have a, a, real, a real big Big, wheel yep, wheel, yep. You know? And when you, you know, like... 24s you see, is like the sweet spot. You see all these cars that, that got, you know, 26s and 28s. The thing that a lot of people don't realize is most of those cars are fully tubbed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to take one that's still got the factory wheel tubs in it and mm -hmm. just kind of start massaging it to where we can make it, you know, where it's not yeah. rubbing driving, you know, and you still get a little bit of fender liner rub until it just wears mm -hmm. it. You've already heated them and pushed them and, you know, yeah. you can. But, you know, on a tight turn, you still get just a little bit of replacement. Yeah, you're going to get there regardless on it. kind of clearances itself out. Mm -hmm. But uh, the wheels, the tires, everything's clear and everything is metal, you know. Yeah. So it's nice and smooth going down the road. Man, it look good with them wheels. I picked out the right choice of wheels with yeah, it. that green color. I know they wanted me to come down there, so I can, um, I think they wanted some pictures of it, too, um, down there at Omar, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, you know they got to get their promotion off of it too. They can't be giving me no deals and not getting no promotions, huh? <laughs> that's the way it works. Everybody is, you know, we, you look out for us. We look out for exactly. You. Just relationships. You know? That's the reason why I told you to go ahead and clean it up because I knew they was gonna want them pictures. That's why I ain't wanted the rain. Right. But it said it ain't supposed to rain over here until five, so yeah. I kind of yeah. got a little a little, little bit of time. Yeah, yeah. Sure. little window. But yeah, we appreciate the, the business again. And man, I appreciate you. A little longer, you know. Oh man, I don't care as long as it's done right. Yeah, I rather so say for instance, okay, it probably took us what like two weeks to do it. So think about it. I used to have my cars that people shot for three months, and they'll never touch it. I mean, normally a job like this, if it's scheduled, we try to have it in and out in about a week. Mm -hmm. But we were in the middle of some big jobs when you brought yeah. this one in. I kind of fit. I know you were just trying to and squeeze me in. We had a problem with the work that had already been butchered on it. Yeah, which made the you know the job a little longer. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, you know, we, we try to get cars. We don't get paid for storing them, so you know. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. It's not, not your driveway. <laughs> yeah. I don't get paid extra for taking longer, so. Yeah, exactly. But uh, but no, it, it, it all worked out in the end. And mm -hmm. We were able to, to get you what you wanted with what, everything that you had. Yeah. So, you know. All and everybody know what you was up against in a way yeah, when they saw yeah. how, how cut, it, cut up it was, so. so. You know, and like I said, the car drives down the road now like it's quiet. Quiet. Um, yeah, it's quiet car. Yeah. Like, you know, it, 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 it's just Man. a pretty nice car, you know. Like I said, I've seen so many of these cars like this that are just... Just butcher, man. <laughs> Rattle traps. Uh huh. 
you know, everything's shaking and leaking. I mean, the windows are tight. Mm -hmm. Everything in this car is really tight. It says it's got just even the even the the, the the polish and chrome on it look good still. Yeah, man, like, like it's crazy. <laughs> A lot of times when they paint the tops like that, that don't mm -hmm. hold up real well. So, I mean, like, all things considered, mm -hmm. you know, I think the car is a, a really nice car for someone. Yeah. You know, obviously, there's a couple little things that, you know, on the body or whatever, when someone wants to put their own touch on it and, and respray it. That's what they told me, you know. Um, I had more people to vote on, just leave it the way it is so they can put their own touch on it. Yeah, because, you know, me, I'm used to, you know, I go all the way out with them. I go yeah. paint them and everything, so. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say they like this green. Just leave it like this until they want to. They say they want to ride it like I, this, I think this for right now. This shows up in any city. Anybody be, you know, happy to have it, yeah. happy to drive it. Yep. And then the little things that we we pick on or we stand out to us. <laughs> that, that's color. the customization in yeah. us. Yeah. 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 So, I, mean, <laughs> I, I done had many, many cars that come through that, that wasn't this nice, you know. So. Mm-hmm. Like I said, no matter where it lands, you know, I think somebody's going to be real happy to have it. Definitely. And, you know, the car, we put a few miles on it, just, you know, shaking it down. Mm -hmm. It stops good. You know, like everything yeah. is working the way it should work. Mm -hmm. It's cleaned up all underneath it, all the wheel wells and everything. I know it looked like a brand new up underneath right there. Like, I'm just looking at it. I've been paying attention to the black up under there since we got here. Yes, yeah, so we, we put like, everything. It looked good, good. Undercoated, you know, all the wheel wells front and back and the suspension everything that you can because the wheels are so open mm -hmm. you know you can kind of see everything mm -hmm. so nobody wants to look through there and see rusty stuff and mm -hmm. you know so everything like the back end plates for the rotors yep we cleaned up and everything so you know just make it look proper you yep. know, anybody that gets the car wants it to i mean like this car you could go to a show right now yeah. oh yeah and, yeah and represent you know so and ain't got to worry about too much you know yeah. go in and do your thing yep he said proper, man. You remind me of my dad is saying that, man. <laughs> man, my daddy used to always say proper. <laughs> I, had a, I had an older gentleman. That's man. California talk, man. That's just country. <laughs> That's where I, you know, people I grew up around, you know, what they say if something was done Sitting proper. Sitting proper. It's looking <laughs> proper. I haven't heard that since my dad you know, back in the day. But yeah. That's so. crazy. Well, y'all, we're going to wrap this thing up, man. Hey, I'm, I'm a little excited, man. We finally get the first drive video in it today. I know y'all been waiting on that since I got the car. Like, when are you going to drive the car? When are you going to drive the car? The wait is over now. We get to drive the car now. Shout out to Matt at Allstate Transmission. Right here on Buckner Road, man. If y'all need any job, any job, come to him. Not just frame notches, any job. He here to fix cars. That's what he do, you know. So, yeah, y'all see that motor sitting over there? Just know, oh, man, we, fin we not playing with him. <laughs> we not playing with that one. That's what we're doing now that we kind of got everything finished. I mm -hmm. got the 300. I'm going to try to fire it up tonight. Mm -hmm. We just got three that we're wrapping up. We're already mm -hmm. started cleaning the whole shop. Because we try to, like, every Friday evening, if we can, mm -hmm. stop, clean the shop, organize, yeah. get cars situated for when mm -hmm. we come in Monday morning, we start to work. Not yep. start figuring out what's going to be inside or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, we're going to knock some of the other stuff out this afternoon real quick. We mm -hmm. got to... Uh, Big red dooleys at the muffler shop, getting the pipes put on. Oh, I saw it, the ones you had right here, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a truck day. Yeah. Hey, man, shout out. Hey, man, let, let them know where to find you at, too, on Instagram, yeah, man. So we're going to be redoing all that. Um, the the corporate name that we have for, like, the custom part of the business mm -hmm. is called Texas Auto Masters. Okay. It's a little confusing for signage on the Oh, uh, yeah, this and that. Yeah. But, um, so on Instagram, we're Texas Auto Masters. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to be kind of revamping that and kind of bringing the Allstate name. Yeah, to yeah, you got to. Yeah, yeah, you got to have uh, both of them the same. That's yeah. why I used to tell people that do YouTube, like, have your YouTube name as your Instagram name also because it's your brand now. Yeah. So, you I mean, know. that's not my forte. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to make it to a forte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, it, it's like you use me for something, I use you for something, well, I mean, you know, so, the cool thing yeah. About, you know, having relationships is not everybody does everything. Yeah, right? exactly. So, you got to just... All you got to do is just have the hey, people around you. you know? I got it off the, the young folks, man. Yeah. You know, the young folks showed me, hey, you can make money off YouTube. You think I ain't going to get it and run right. with it? I so, like my son, he shot a video <laughs> when we backed it out of the shop today to, to post on the Instagram Oh, for real? Page. 
and you know he was, I was man, just yeah see have him to do it and let him do reels and right. stuff like that yeah. so it can get you some more attraction and actually while you're doing the job too you can do the reels where you're taking them through the steps and put it all in one video right one thing that we've we've heard from my customers and stuff mm -hmm. and we, we used to do it a little bit it's my bad for kind of not doing it as much yeah. as i should but like when people have custom work that we're doing that's in the shop you know for a couple of weeks or a month or mm -hmm. now, the bigger jobs yeah. it gives people a way to kind of see what's happening with their car exactly. without being here coming yep. by Yep. So I never guess really realized the importance of that. Mm -hmm. But you know, we've had a couple of customers like when we have posted stuff like, "Oh man, thanks." I yep. was wondering how it was coming. So you know, I think you know you can use the platform. For and now I think like a that. lot of your customers probably finna be real to real fans or try to see what you yeah. got going. I mean, Don't y'all be coming on my channel trying to get sneak peeks of y'all vehicles either? <laughs> hey, I know how they do. Okay. They'll come to my channel. Hey, hey, let me see if he working on mine too in there. Right, right. Yeah, no, nah, we ain't finna make this no competition. In that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we, we, like said, we just appreciate you know good customers, good business. Mm -hmm. it makes it simple. Got working with guys like you. you know, yeah. My customers like yourself. And, you know, they just it makes my job a little bit more. Yeah, you know, easier too. Car, fighting the car is bad. Yeah. Customers and good communication, and we appreciate that. So yeah. Props to you. Because I didn't know all them other guys where you had the four four two colors and all the other people. I yeah. didn't know all them even watched my channel. Yeah. Even the guy with the Crown Vic. That's kind of crazy, yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Like, all your subscribers are a lot closer than you think. Yeah. I mean, like the couple times you pulled the mm -hmm. parking lot, you've got people following you in. You I know, know, I know. I saw, I saw also. You know, but I mean, I guess that's the part of being in the public, right? Yeah. You know I mean? That's actually the phone call I just got off when I was just headed over here. Right. We, I was just on the phone with somebody who was like, man, I seen the, I seen the big drink green truck. And I said, that had to be real. He was just talking right. to me saying I was over here at your shop. Right. So, yeah, anytime my truck over here at Dooley, right. man, I get blew up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say I have to be in more lower-key lower cars right. than that big green Dooley. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I mean, stuff like that you can't miss. You know, the yeah. green Dooley, you know, cars like this, you know. Yeah. People are used to seeing them on your channel. And, uh -huh. You know, I think that people have a real desire to have that connection. You know yeah, what I mean? Which yeah. Is, it's flattering, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, exactly. Know, people call like a... I had a, a one of your, one of your uh, subscribers called me here at the shop. The guy's way up north somewhere. I forget if it was Michigan or Cincinnati or somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, he's doing 3D printing and trying to get oh, okay. 3D printing stuff. So he had reached out and left me a message and, you know, just just talked a little bit about you know, okay. the automotive business. And yeah. I thought, that, yeah, you could definitely find out some things you, you mm. could reproduce. Them yeah, somebody else that 3D printing. It. Yeah. But it's just crazy to see the reach, right? Like, yep. I mean, that's... That's, that's a lot of reach. I've talked to, and you know, that's half of the way across the country. So that's that's cool. You yeah, know, you yeah. See, you it feels good. Yeah, it exactly. feels good sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. So you know, we're not in things. Like I don't consider myself a special person. Yeah. It's nice when people. But you are becoming that. <laughs> you special in my eyes. So, but you're yeah. becoming that in other people's eyes because yeah, they I mean, seeing the genuineness on the camera. Yeah, at the end of the day, we are just all regular people trying to make mm -hmm. a living, trying to pay our bills, you yep. know, trying to be successful at what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And I think people recognize that, and that's a compliment. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yep. It's a big compliment. Them, so. No, you that's can't cool. buy that, you yeah. know, at all. But I know when that um when that don't roll up out of here. That's the you one. Fin you finna turn this shop up. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I'm really looking forward to that, too, because yeah. I built one. You know, yeah. It's the first one I've ever built. Mm -hmm. so, and I like doing things I haven't. I mean, we do tons of this stuff. You know? Exactly. Tons of G-bodies and stuff. Bar, you know, so it, it's fun to do something. Yeah, exactly. Kind of exactly. Project, you know? Exactly. It's going to be fun for me because, I, you know, other than my 72, I still haven't worked on a convertible car. What's crazy is the like the appeal of those cars mm -hmm. right? like you know like that's levels levels that's, that's levels a, that's a level up, one dude so. just hit me in my dm yesterday and it kind of inspired me and it shocked me a little bit too because i really didn't pay attention like that he said man you got to think about it bro those the two cars that you have is real grown men cars them not no little boy cars them not no cars or average person just finna go outside and just say hey i'm finna go buy one one day right. he was like it take a lot of grind to get that type of um vehicle right. to, for you to have two of them in your garage yeah. that mean you done something well we were talking i had the, the customers up here yesterday in the two cutlasses and one of those customers he's got a pretty healthy collection mm -hmm. you know got some iconic car yeah, you know things yeah. that we would all put on that bucket list mm -hmm. and that's what he was even saying he's like yeah i had a 
buddy of mine, we were going through my list of cars that I mm -hmm. own, and he's like, man, you're missing two. You're missing the Grand National, <laughs> yeah. and you're missing the Donk, you know? And mm -hmm. 75 is my birth year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 75 is not a good year for cars, yeah. normally. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like 75 Cadillac, ugly. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Uh, 75 trucks, okay. Mm -hmm. There ain't a lot of 75 muscle cars. Yeah, it's not. Desirable, no. You know what I'm saying? So that was in that I, gas I, I caught the, the right of the phenomenon of the, the vehicle. Yeah. Cause me, out of, uh, out of all the donks, the '75 is the best looking one to me. Yes. You know, yeah. it's, it's '71 two. Like, yeah, whatever. yeah, '71, '73, and the '75. But I would rather have a '73 and a '75. Huh? <laughs> that was close right there. You got it. But, uh, yeah, it is the most attractive one, yeah, you know, yeah. those years. Because it's got the big, like, the body molding on mm -hmm. it. There's a few little things that I've been looking at. Man, it's, but, uh, it's, it, bro, when I look at my car in my garage, it just looks so good. Like Especially with that color, and especially when you get, a, like, a... a oh, wait till I get it, that top, though. The rose gold. Man. And we're gonna have oh, my to God. Rose gold on the motor. Like, we'll have to tie it. Oh, yeah. So, I was looking at this company. Um, I actually, I started following them. All real gold. No, um, they make the covers. Mm -hmm. They make like the light up covers and everything for okay. the LS motors. Okay. So I was gonna try to get it rose gold. Mm -hmm. You know, had them to send it to me and then I ship it out to Forgiato and Forgiato was gonna match all my trimming up, whatever I wanted to match up with the wheels. They told me I, I could send it to them and they'll do it yeah, for that's me. That's cool, yeah. So when the wheels come, everything, all, you know how people stuff be off here and there because right, right. they going through different companies. They say they'll do it all um, within the same company so it can all match. Well, that'd be good. Yeah. That's one thing that we always think know. it shows when, when stuff don't be When right. don't, stuff don't match. Yeah. And I want those headlight bezels and um, the headlight bezels. I was thinking about the grill, but I'm not so sure about the grill because I like all that new same. Sandman design yeah. grill. Yeah. Oh my God! Have you seen it? Yes. That grill, I think it's like three thousand. It's more than a Tierra. Yeah, but did you see how it starts out? Like it is a solid chunk. I know, bro, but it looks so much better than a Tierra grill to me. Yeah. I don't like Tierra well, grills I mean, on them a, cars. It's a takeoff of a factory grill. Yeah, just with it cleaned up. Mm -hmm. you know, Tierra, to me, the Tierra grills, the um, the Ashanti grills, you know, they mm -hmm. all kind of have that similar that look. That same look. Mesh and yeah. The that was real super hot when it all first came out, but now it's not. Mm -hmm. Man, you just attracted all of them. Today. I know. <laughs> Got the black cat today. I don't know about you. Yeah, black cat scrappy. She looks like she's been <laughs> fighting every day. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I think that's the best way that I want to go is with the Sandman grill. Yeah, the parts, the quality of his parts yeah. are unmatched. Mm hmm. Yeah. Especially like those little door things and stuff like that, oh, and the, the door jam, mm -hmm. the strikers, the dash pieces. I mean, I, I yeah. think the door seals. You make about everything. Well, she likes yeah. you. Yeah, she's trying, she trying to get a friend. <laughs> she's trying to go home with somebody. She, no, she we can't deal with cat. Yeah, yeah, we deal with enough. Yeah, we deal with enough with them little crazy dogs. But yeah, let's go get you wrapped up, man. Yeah, no so worries. I know you want to get back to work, and then y'all know, man. I gotta run down here to Omar before it start raining and getting dark and all that so they can see the car and check everything out. But uh, yeah, man, let's get my boy Matt paid. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Bringing out good work and getting my guy paid, man. All right, y'all, peace. Yes, yeah, sir, y'all, man, we in this thing. Boy, come on, man, we in the cut, dog. Yes, yeah, Sersky. Yeah, we, man, this joint so quiet. Yeah, Lee, I don't even hear the motor. Really? I don't even hear the motor, man, at all. Man, shout out to my guy Matt, man. Matt got me all the way together, do the. Yep, horn working that thing. You feel me? Man, he got the biggest drop ever in this arm. Um, <laughs> he got the biggest drop out of all the, the buildings and stuff on this um on this street. 
it's a big ass drop right here so i gotta wait the two lanes open just to get out i was gonna i think i should have took it right there i could have but my wife behind me so golly it's a whole bunch of traffic coming now so yeah i just wait on them but yeah man y'all see it man we in the cut dog right now yeah sirski dang i should have yeah, Lee, I'm keep missing the turn. I keep missing my chance. But yeah, we finna head down here to Omar. I'ma go and take this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna go and take it. Yeah, you gonna get that little um that little rubbing on that plastic on these cutlasses until that shit just wear off, you know. Man, it had the rain, man. I just got this joint washed. Just got it washed. Got the brakes and new brakes on here and everything. Got the brakes done, oil change, everything, man. You feel me? Do you figure deal me? And this joint got the double D in it. Yeah, I'm going to have a, a, a blast. I should have put some rain on the windshield. Where the windshield wipers work? I just don't like windshield wipers on old schools. They never just sit flat enough for me. But they work. As long as they work. So, But yeah, we headed over here uh, to Omar's real fast. Man, shh. I hate it had the rain, man. This kind of sucks, bro. Definitely suck. Did not want to have to deal with no rain today. But um, Matt ain't open on Saturday, so I had to come get it today. You feel me? Oh, shit. I don't know why I turned that on. But yeah, man, I'm going to catch y'all when I get up here. I can't hold no camera up right now in this rain. And I barely can see because I got to turn the windshield wipers on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to catch y'all in a second. A few moments later. Yeah. Got the colors out today, my boy. Leave it on, leave it on. Don't turn it on. Huh? Video on. All right. I just that out. Yeah. Man, it had the rain, bro. Like, why I picked my shit up in the rain? <laughs> What? I know it. What's up, bros? Man, it had the rain. Goddamn rain, man. Had the rain on us. I ain't, I ain't see nothing in the forecast say like nothing about rain today. Then I had got the motherfucker wash just to ride it right in the rain. <laughs> hey, he say no backup camera on there. That's 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 old school. What's up with it? Uh, see oh shit up in Chicago. Uh, you must yeah. don't watch the video. Yeah, that, that, that. yeah, here in Chicago. Let me get a picture with you though. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Come on Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We can do one inside. I know it raining like a mug up in here. Brother. You'll take him a picture with me real quick? Come on, brother. You want to do this way or do this way, brother? You want to do this way all, all up and down? Up. What up, brother? Make sure you like it. Make sure you like it. Yeah, that's oh, good. Yeah, that's cool. You know, you know them girls, they have to uh, take about 30 pictures before they pick out one. You know what I'm saying? Man, appreciate you, bro. For real, for real. You too. I was going to see you, bitch. But how did this go? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I th I think Cito better of a driver than that. Yeah. Hey man, them wheels turned out good on there. They look good as hell. This is my first time being able to drive it. Yeah, cause you know it had a five inch barrel in the back. 
so the wheels couldn't go on. I had to do a frame knot. Yeah, I had to cut all the metal out and reweld new metal in it. Now, if it had like a four inch inner, it would have went straight on. I've been good. But yeah, and you got you buy wheels. It costs to put them on now. <laughs> Say it. Ain't no burnout. Hey, it can't burn out. That's original. It's original car. Exactly. I know it'll burn out. It's raining too. <laughs> hey, but we ain't trying to do that. We gotta get out of the way though. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't trying to tell up nothing. My boy trying to make me be out of more money, man. He trying to make me replace transmission <laughs> or something real quick. <laughs> what the hell are you waiting on? What the cameraman? The rain lightening up too right now too. Yeah, I think it was. I think it smelt the presence of me up here, so the rain had to stop, so we can get some work done. You know what I'm saying? What a cameraman! Who he waiting on? He waiting on the cameraman. Oh, he might be waiting on you. Yeah, cause he up in there counting money. He teasing counting money right now. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, y'all see it, man. Get y'all tickets. Get y'all tickets. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see those torpedo. This guy. Alright, don't lose that mug in this damn ring. Hey, I'm going to catch him on footage too. He going to be on camera wrecking too. <laughs> See it. Why he playing? Camera is in motion. Hey, man, that joint's so pressure, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. Hey, that be pressure, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. Hey, nigga, you ain't never set in an old school disc clean original. This bitch comfortable, ain't it? And it's crazy that this whole car is original, bro. The way it came from the factory. That's crazy, bro. There's way for him to come to drive it so I can Oh. He was behind there. Oh, he probably still with that customer. He's bringing him up. Yeah. All right, my boy. See, Mr. Cut Dog, man, you look good in the Cut Dog, my boy. See, play with him. Boy, look good in the Cut Dog. Don't look so good, bro. Don't look hella good. Hella good. All the suspension and everything been painted up too, y'all. So you ain't gotta worry about that. The back part been painted up too. Know what I'm saying? The back drum, so everything blacked out. Know what I'm saying? It's just a all around good ass fucking car. Hey, turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. It'll look better. No, it's just real plastic. It don't, it don't, it, it's frame notch. It can turn. It's frame knot. Everything cut out. Yeah, you see them, you see them HID lights. I mean uh oh, LEDs in there, my boy. Woo! Them LEDs in there, my boy. 
see. Stop playing with it. Boy, y'all see them LEDs in that thing? Stop playing with it. Yes, yeah, sir, Ski. Get them tickets. Yes, yeah, sir. Ooh. That bitch pressure, bro. Damn, that bitch is pressure. Golly. Hey, I'm gonna get you to take my thumbnail too. Reverse lights, everything work, man. That thing pressure. That bitch fresh up. If that sun was out, you'll see that gold. You know it got a gold pearl in it. Boy, back at it again. Back at it again. Back at it again. What's up with it? Doing all right? Huh? Oh yeah, man, chilling, man. You sales grinding, huh? Man, appreciate it, appreciate it. Some, it's gonna be somebody else's next weekend. Yeah, I'm giving it away. Yeah. Yeah, I wish that sun was out, bro. You know how hard that gold pearl be hitting? I was finna paint it. And shit, they said, no, let us let us paint it. Leave it green for us right now. Look at him. Throw it in neutral. You probably got it turned too far. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> we put you in another old school. You stay in the new cars. <laughs> Huh? He stole your. No, it wasn't your C8. It was another customer. He stole in the C8. For real? He turns it too hard in the C8. No, in the reverse. Man. <laughs> he heard you too. <laughs> Damn. I know, right? <laughs> oh my Hey Hey Omar I think I became your number one customer <laughs> Most of the colors don't come with that wing on it Yeah I know that whole thing Yeah You gotta have a certain trim to get that wing This a color saloon Yeah I know Salon, whatever they they, they they salon, like the beauty shop and shit. Beard. Beauty, yeah. Beard, this beauty. Music. I said beauty shop. Beauty. I ain't say music shop. Music. I, I said. Oh. Uh, you from Memphis. Uh, it's, it's okay, bro. I love my city. I know. I love it too. <laughs> That bitch so silent, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. That bitch so silent. All right. Turn it the other way. I love you. Turn it the other way. All right. All right, go. All right. Right 
cow, man. I'm in love with this motherfucker. God damn. I'm in love with it, man. Oh, I got an hour drive to get home, man. A whole hour drive to get home. Look at that. A whole hour to get home, man. But we in the cut, dog. Got the steering wheel on. Know what I'm saying? Everything, man. Copacetic. Like, bro, this car just, oh my God, man. How do I keep coming across these good ones and then getting rid of them? Man, it's just really, y'all, honestly, if I had a warehouse or something, yeah, it would be nice where I can keep my cars, but I don't, man. That's the only reason I be getting rid of some of these cars. Like, some of these is just gems that you can never get back, and this one right here is one of them gems, man, and, bro, I just honestly kind of regret giving it away. This, this, this one in my last box Chevy. You know, I, I kind of regretted those two because them like, these like holy grails of, of the box Chevy and the G-bodies, like, y'all don't understand, like, these joints so original and they so perfect, like, they flawless, like, magnificent, magnificent, like, look at, bro, come on, man, the headliner, everything, like, come on, bro, no cracks in the dash whatsoever, bro, like, Come on, bro. This shit usually be chipped up around here. Like, completely gone. And shit, we in this joint. We finna drive this joint all the way home. Window, seal crack. I mean, um, I said seal crack. What the hell I'm talking about? The window seal tight. I'm talking about tight, tight. Well, the stripping new on this car. Well, it's all original, but everything is still in pristine. Like, you ain't got none of them cracks like you be seeing on them regular cars. Them other cars where they be having cracks everywhere. The weather stripping be cracked all up and stuff. Like, none of that, bro. Like, you can't even hear outside. So, you know, most of the time when you drive old school, you hear outside. Because it be like wind noise and stuff. You be hearing it. And then, in this car, you don't hear shit from outside. That's what I love about it. It's so silent. Like, hella, hella silent, man. But, man, we're going to get this thing on the highway, and I'm going to cut back on the camera once we get on the highway. It's going to be a lot of traffic, but I'm going. I'm taking the tollway all the way home. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't trying to go through none of this traffic. But we got to get to the tollway first, so. Um, but, man, I'm just, I'm blessed, bro. Bro, to be able to pay for these cars and pay to get them fixed and all that, bro. Cause what I did to this car is is definitely not cheap. You know what I'm saying? It it it, it costs quite a bit because it it costs more than the average person would pay for a frame notch just because the car was so hacked up and it wasn't as easy for them to do because it was already hacked up and cut on and all that. So they had to re-weld re metal and um, uh, make it look back like it was factory, bro. Like they made this joint look back like it was factory, but did the frame notch like to, to the quality that I like. Like it's hard to find people that do stuff to the quality that you like. Man, it's so hard, bro. You have to fight and fight and fight with people. Like just to get your stuff done right for a service they offer. And I don't have to go through none of that with Matt, bro. None of that. So I just want to say shout out to my guy, Matt, man. I'm finna go over here to the gas station, pop some gas in here. So we know, you know what I'm saying? We heading home and we got a little hour, hour in traffic and I don't want to run out of gas while I'm in traffic. So we finna stop by the gas station first and foremost. And I'll catch y'all when I get on the highway. Peace. Oh, I'm a oh, oh, oh. Gotta boost the shield door. I don't pick for St. Laurent. Man, we on this highway. Man, boy, it's raining hard as hell. I'm in the rain. Like, come on, man. In the rain with it. You feel me? In the rain with it, bro. Crazy first drive, man. Had to be in the rain. <laughs> that don't make no type of sense. 
and I'm definitely ain't even taking the regular highway. None but toes, my boy. I ain't got no license place on here. <laughs> so they can't get nothing off of me, you feel me? You know what I'm saying, me? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yeah, sir, Ski. Golly. Hey, but we rocking and rolling, man, like I told y'all, bro. Like, bro, when I get these cars, bro, these cars got to be able to drive hours and hours for me. I ain't even going to lie to you for them to even be up to my standards to even buy. So if that motherfucker can't make it down the street, shit, I don't buy them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really test my cars out when I buy them. Or I have a person to drive all the way to me. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Because I'm going to definitely <laughs> get out and drive my stuff. So, you know, I don't want nobody to ever win my cars and then they can't actually drive their stuff. You, you see what I'm doing? I'm on this highway. I'm on the toll, so you got to go faster than the highway. See how I'm passing these folks? See, they on the highway. I'm on the toll. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, first drive going perfect. I don't hear no scraping, no scrubbing, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is good. Like, man, Matt got me all the way right. So, y'all know he finna go ham on that dunk, man. My boy finna go in. We ain't playing. Not this summer. For real, for real. I got me a suspension guy. I'm talking about he do motors. He do everything. So, man, it's up from here. This all I was looking for and waiting on. He ain't the cheapest. But you damn sure ain't gonna have to spend, spend two, three times. You feel me? Just to get one job done. So, it'll be like you paying him. <laughs> So, man, think about it. Just go to him first, man. And he's still reasonable, bro. He ain't going to break your bank. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get you what you actually need and not what you actually think it is. So, yeah, man. Shout out to him. But, yeah, I got to concentrate. Like, this is a giveaway car. It's raining out here. Weather bad. So, I, I can't be vlogging and holding cameras and stuff like that. I actually got to concentrate. But this ain't no new car. This is the old school. So, I got to treat it like that. So I catch y'all in a little while, man. Blow your money up to my dog. Get this cash close post. I remember I put a dime inside a fake ghost. See it's raining hard. See. Golly. <laughs> if I was a rapper, how they how they be putting them them means? Oh. Uh, if I was a rapper garage, this is what I look like. <laughs> ah, damn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, I can put another car over here if I wanted to. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can put it in front of the house. Cause I still got my parking spot in front of the house too. Dang, that's crazy. Hold on, let me set the alarm. Set the alarm on that bad boy. Oh, y'all didn't know the colors got alarm on it? Yes, yeah, Sersky. Got that alarm, my boy. While y'all playing. That thing ride good, bro. Like, dang, ride smooth, good. Y'all know you gonna always have that bumps and stuff from the road regardless. That You can't get away from that with the old school. It, it's just gonna happen, but golly, we drove an hour and 15 minutes to the crib -o. An hour and 15 minutes to the crib, you feel me? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited, man, bro. I'm so excited, bro. Like, dang, bro. Like, Somebody finna win them something special, bro. Somebody finna win them something special, bro. I ain't been excited like this to, since Lil Dirt. So I'm pulling this joint out this weekend. I'm sorry, y'all, man. I don't get to enjoy the e-call before they go, bro. I'm pulling the colors out tomorrow. I might pull the dunk out on Sunday. Man. Man, we gonna see, bro. We gonna see. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 
can't stop smiling, bro. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't stop smiling and cheesing, bro. I'm blessed as hell, bro. I'm blessed, bro, because I ain't have to get rid of the colors, bro. Know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep it all the way 100, bro. This is the smallest giveaway I ever done, bro. Know what I'm saying? Smallest. You, you feel me? So it wasn't even about the money, bro. Nothing like that, bro. I just didn't have the space in the driveway for an extra vehicle like that. I don't want to overcrowd my driveway like this. Damn, that's a lot of vehicles. Shit, I filled up the whole damn driveway. That's crazy. But make sure y'all, man, hit that link right now. Get y'all tickets right now. Y'all see everything run, drive. We good, you know what I'm saying? Divvy through traffic. I will listen to that dirty yo, smirky yo. We love the goat, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, make sure y'all do that, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all already know what time it is. Your boy, Real to Real. Hey, man, say, man. Hey, man, it's your boy, man. Real to Real, man. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Go ahead and bust it down, man. I'm out of here like last year. Peace. Ah!